Hello and welcome to the Southeast Idaho Weather Hazard Briefing for Saturday, June 22nd. And we'll start with a surface weather depiction. You can see high pressure generally dominating uh, southern Idaho, but we do have this area of showers and thunderstorms that will be plaguing mostly the northern border with Montana and this border with Wyoming uh, over the next couple of days. And even today, uh, it doesn't really show it here, but there is a slight chance threat in the central Idaho mountains, at least for today and the next of the next three. So let's go ahead and look at that. You can see it's just a slight chance this afternoon, with the exception of this area up here north and east of Rexburg, more or less, where it's uh, close to a chance. Temperatures still, uh, this is still well below normal. Normal for Pocatello would be around 80 degrees, lower 80s. So it's still a good uh, more than 10 degrees cooler than uh, what it should be. And in the uh, evening hours, you see it starts to let up just a slight chance. Actually, maybe it's slightly increased over in the central Idaho mountains. And overnight lows uh, still on the cool side, but uh, uh, getting back more towards normal. This will restore quicker than, um, than the high temperatures will, the overnight lows. Here's day two. Uh, this is Sunday. Uh, once again, there's weak low pressure that will trigger some showers and thunderstorms in this area, um, mostly in the afternoon, uh, and mostly, uh, once again, along the Idaho-Wyoming, or excuse me, Idaho-Montana border. Uh, here you can see it's just in the Sunday afternoon. It's just the extreme northeast corner. Uh, the other thing to look out for is will be breezy, and especially the eastern Magic Valley and portions of the Snake River Plain. You see 15 to 20 miles an hour, and that's sustained wind. Uh, you can see we are starting to warm up a solid uh, 8 to 10 degrees compared to the day before. And you can see by evening the uh, thunderstorm shower activity has subsided uh, greatly. Uh, but the winds haven't. You can see the winds actually will increase during the evening hours, especially in the Snake River Plain. You can see a lot of basically 20 to almost 30 miles an hour. And overnight lows uh, getting warmer. And then here on Monday, probably our driest day of the next seven, you can see all the low pressure has moved away from us. High pressure starting to build back in behind this, so it's not really represented. So really not much more to show than breezy conditions once again in the eastern Magic Valley and Snake River Plain in the afternoon. Temperatures, you can see uh, continuing the warming trend. And as you can expect, the relative humidities by Monday will be getting back into the you know upper teens to uh, upper 20 percentile range. And once again, breezy in the Snake River Plain in the evening hours and continue a warming trend to the temperatures. You see some places staying uh, actually in the lower 50s. Here's the extended forecast. Uh, you can pause this to read this in more detail, but generally temperatures are peaking on Wednesday. Uh, there is a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms are returning for mostly the rugged terrain, the mountains and the highlands. That peaks on Thursday, and that's when we start to get a cool down with the increased cloud cover, and that continues into Friday. Uh, not much really in the winds, just the typical breezy conditions at 10 to 20 miles an hour, and all of that would be during the afternoon and evening hours. That's all I have. If you have any further questions, you can contact us at this telephone number here, or you can check out the weather yourself at weather.gov slash Pocatello. If you have any questions or comments on the content or feedback on this briefing, contact the webmaster this email address. Thanks for watching.